Hey guys, what's up? Zach Calhoun here. Got a brand new feature that we just released about a week ago, and I wanted to do a, a quick demo so you can see what it's like, see how to use it. The feature is called Library. As you can see on this F45 demo, we have a button here that says Add to Cart. The feature is not Add to Cart buttons. It's actually custom hotspots, custom info spots, and custom images that you can place anywhere on your tour. So how do we do this? Uh, what's a use case? And I wanted to kind of quickly show you a use case. Let's say, um, hypothetically, this F45 Fitness Studio was a jewelry shop or was a, uh, a um a store or some kind of like, you know, um, place where people go in and buy stuff, right? And they go into this place and they say, oh, look, they got some cool benches over here, some some of this, some of that, whatever. And you were to add on to their virtual tour, let's, uh, let's say they, they want to buy this, this BOSU ball, okay? Well, you can put the button right here, this hyperlink button that says, add a cart and you can put a price to it and they click it. It opens in, opens into a new tab right there. Boom. Bosu ball opens a hundred bucks. Actually. Um, I just grabbed the link and put it in there. You can put anything you want here, any button. So how do we do this? Um, and of course, you know, all, all this, we still have this same original hotspot, so you can still travel, but I just wanted to kind of show like you can add any logo, any design, any kind of button, um, and it's very easy to do. And the, the feature is called library. So now you can kind of create really cool custom experiences on your 360 virtual tours. All right. So let's check this out behind the scenes. And actually, you know, I have two more use cases to show you. Um, this one right here is one of the clones of the casino demo we have. I think this is, uh, is this Caesar's palace. I can't remember. It's okay. So if you look up here, I, I put a button that says book now. So if I, if a user, if a viewer, excuse me, clicks this, it takes them to whatever link I send them to. So in this case, I clicked, uh, I, I worked, you know, I would ask the client, Hey, where do you want me to send people to check out rooms and availability? So you, they would click this button. It would say they'd be able to um, go to this reservation portal right here, right in their desktop um, or on their, on their mobile phone and be able to book a room. Right, select the days, whatever. So they're looking so that potentially you could have this connected to like say three types of rooms and you say and, a, and above in the ceiling say book this now while it's still available, etc. So as they're looking through the space, you can always have that button, like the book now button available, right? Um, so yeah, how does this work? And then what you know, why is it so dang cool? Uh, well, as entrepreneurs, right, we always think of cool ideas, so um, you can ask your clients, let's say they're an apartment complex and they want to, um, add a reserve now button, or they want to have, you know, download our, you know, special floor plan or whatever. I uh, use all things, all kinds of things you can do, but how do you work library? Okay. So we're kind of past the use cases, you know, what, what's an info spot info spot. It's, it, it displays information and hotspot take us to a room, right? So in case you're new. All right. So if you were to click add info spot or link hotspot. These work for both. Okay, I'm just going to add one here. I'm going to click a spot to, uh, and it will, what, what your typical modal appears, your typical edit info spot modal. There's something different here though. So we used to have just these three to the right, now, or, or, or just three that are here, but now we have the hyperlink um, option, which is what I was using earlier. And I had, you know, $37 for that BOSU ball, add a hyperlink to the Amazon link to buy the BOSU ball, right? So you can create a VR store for somebody if you wanted to. And, and, but the info spot itself was typically in the past, you'd have to pick from one of these info spots, right? Well, now if you see this whole icon, it says open library. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, if you look here, this is the library feature. It's really cool. It took a lot of work, a lot of hard work to get this set up. A lot happened in the back end. So definitely give Clayton a high five for him and, and our team for doing such a good job. Um, what are you seeing here? Well, you see three tabs, okay? Tab one, images, tab two, hotspot icons, and tab three is logos. So those folks out there who want to have one logo for all their tours, uh, you can now add a logo there and we can go over that later. But really you just, what you're doing is you're, you're storing a logo in your account. It's kind of what you're doing, but we're going to focus on these two tabs. Now they're all interchangeable and you can use them anywhere. So what makes this really cool is we call it library because 
Um, you can go to your library, pick whatever shelf you want, whatever book you want, and add it to your tour based on the use case or whatever you're, you're, you're doing for that particular action, whether it's info spot or a hotspot in this case. So uh, in this case, we're using a, we're, we're, we're creating an info spot. So, so I have three tabs. I have my images tab, my hotspots icons tab, and my logos tab. So I've already added some, um, custom hotspots here, uh, some in, into my library. So I'm going to click this fancy blue. You've seen it before cloud pano logo. All I have to do is all I have to do now is click use this image. And what's happening now is the info spots grabbing from the library. So you see right here is the preview and I can add short text here. If I want to add, I'm putting the word flowers. I'm not sure why I click save and that info spot is now added to my tour just like that. So really any image. And of course, we recommend highly using .png images because they are transparent backgrounds, right? Which looks nicer on your tour. Um, so let's go in here and go back into my library. If you want to change it, you just click your next one. Whatever you have saved, let's say you have all kinds of different, um, you know, arrows and custom uh, icons you have saved. It, you can add those to your account. And if you say you like, you know, three or four different types of arrows or action items or add a cart buttons, once those are saved in your account, they're there for all your tours. So that's really cool. Uh, so let's go back into library here. Now, um, if I wanted to upload my own image, you just click add new, find it on your desktop and upload it. So for example, uh, I added or uploaded some, some very practical use case ones from my computer, add to cart. Let's say someone wanted to make an e-commerce store or they wanted uh, more information. You can have a more information button. And this is a .png uh, background image. So it's a transparent background. So if I want to change it to add a cart button, that's what I do. Um, now, if you create a button, this is just a pro tip, you know, I would definitely want to use the hyperlink um, hyperlink section so that you can, uh, so if they click it, it actually goes somewhere, right? Um, okay, also too, uh, I wanted to show, I'm gonna exile this one actually. So if you go right here to this image, what I did was use an, another new feature that we also released that makes adding images much easier. And I just wanna go ahead and show you in this particular tour real fast. So I'm gonna scroll to the left. So here's the, uh, we have that typical photo icon, right? Well, now when you click it, it's showing the bathroom like you would expect to see at a department complex, right? Um, so just in case you don't you don't have that 360 image or you want to show off a still image of, of something or show off a, a painting or some type of information, say you're making a museum or you're showing off a car, or you want to show the you know the hood open or something like that, the engine, um, you could just, the user can, you can just as a user, uh, upload this image and, and they'll click it and they'll be able to look at it. So it's just a simple image upload feature. How do you do that? It's very simple. We just go over to that icon, click it, and it's the image tab, right? So I upload a custom image and it shows a preview right here. So if I click upload custom image and I go to my images tab, I actually pulled this bathroom photo from just a random apartment complex nearby Houston. It was one of the first ones I saw pop up. Figured, hey, let's just show it as an example, right? So uh, that's a, an example of using the image icon, uploading a custom image uh, info spot, and then it's a use case how to show what's the inside, right? How to give an experience, a custom experience to your users, I'm sorry, to your customers, so they can um, really enjoy and appreciate all the work it it goes into uh, creating a virtual door and of course, you know, pay you more money. Um, so if I was to swap out this image, what would happen in this particular case? Cause we're pulling assets from, from the library here. Cause I, cause, cause think about it. We're all, we're going to go to the bookshelf, whatever we want and add it to certain sections or use cases. So if I was to just click this random image, image here, this is a lock up from uh, our website. Uh, so now I have an image inside of a info spot. And so don't let it confuse you. You have to play with it a little bit here. Uh, when I click publish and I go over here, it pulled that image from my library, right? Cool, right? Simple, simple, cool, effective, powerful, fun. Really, you can do a lot of, a lot of cool things with that. Now, you saw that I had that, that computer image. Um, now, let's say I, I go over to the left and I want to change this info spot to a, let's make it a short text example. Okay, now I'm going to click here. Let's say test, just some word test, why not? I'm gonna go into my library. So I go up to, over, over to my bookshelf. 
I click images and I want to use that image I had before that's also saved my library. I click use, use this image and I click save info spot. I think I actually, uh, yep, there it is. So now I have that image as an act as an info spot, right? So what you get here is you get to be able to use basically swap out whatever images are on your account. So even though that kind of looks silly on the, in, in this particular example, um, you're gonna have to you know use these use these with caution. That's why we have our info spots and hotspots have shadows because you want to transition from one unit or one thing to something else. It's a good design uh, design principle, but but this gives you the power to really customize stuff. So if you wanted to add that down below, you wanted to you know um, add your own Nadir patch, and you can do that. And we're coming out with ways to to make your Nadir covered for for all your tours faster. I'm sorry for all, I'm sorry, for all your photos within your tours. So and we're also coming out with you know custom um, sizing for each of these hotspots and info spots. So if you wanted to have like a whole gallery or a showcase room, you could totally do that. Uh, so there's a lot of cool stuff we're going to be able to do with this kind of stuff. So as we customize, add customizations, you'll be able to add those to your tours and your clients will benefit, you'll profit, and of course, make more money and your life will change for the better. So if you are not already a Cloud Panda Pro Plus user, I highly recommend just going to cloudpanda.com, clicking Go Pro Plus, add to cart, subscribe today, get your own domain name saved on the account and go start making some money, bro. And of course, if you guys are new and you want to grow your business, check out virtualtourprofit.com for an upcoming webinar. I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for checking out cloudpanda.com. We love you. We appreciate you. Go get some hustling on. I'll see you soon.